This is the most hated skin in Fortnite, and I'm not really sure why. Guys, we're gonna be talking about the most hated skins in Fortnite and kind of discussing why they're so hated. Of course, this video is sponsored by Squarespace, so a huge shout out to them. I'm going through the Fortnite.gg website, every single skin that's released, a lot of people can rate them with a fire emoji, a heart eye emoji, just a meh emoji, a barf emoji, and a poo emoji. Now, the reason I wanted to talk about this is because of a recent skin Aubrey, a pretty popular skin, especially especially on Twitter, has just been released. I actually quite like it. I think it's cute. It's just a cute skin. You know, uh, uh, Fortnite really excels in making a lot of cute girl skins. But for some reason, this one didn't get a lot of praise. Currently, there are around 2000 skins in the game, and this one's already in 1700th place. Like, that is really bad, really bad, for especially for a skin that just came out. Now, compare that to Ascendant Midas, which is currently number one. This is the most favorited skin currently in the Fortnite.gg website. Just released 22,000 flame emojis. That's that's a lot of flame emojis. But let's go down and let's do this deep dive. Starting it off, we have Bites, which is a skin that was released in Chapter 3 Season 4, uh, 2022 currently. It has 15,000 poop emojis, and I actually have no idea why. Some people think it's because you had to use this skin to complete his quest line but honestly I'm not really sure I think this skin's actually pretty dang cool uh, I don't really know what is the hate behind this skin uh, I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below but yeah this one is actually currently in the top three worst hated skins in the game and I'm not really sure why for some of the other skins I have evidence as to why they have some hate but this one I've got no idea now before we continue roasting some skins and looking at why they were roasted let's talk about the sponsor of the day and that is Squarespace Space. Are you ready to turn your ideas into a stunning online reality? Well, look no further than Squarespace. All in one platform that empowers you to build a website as unique as your business is. Whether you're a small business owner, an artist showcasing your work, or someone with a passion to share, Squarespace has got you covered. With its super user-friendly interface and powerful features, building your online presence has never been easier. You can choose from a wider range of professional design templates to kickstart your creativity. From sleek portfolios to amazing e-commerce stores, Squarespace Space provides the perfect canvas for your digital masterpiece. And the best part is that customizing your site is super easy. With Squarespace intuitive drag and drop tools, you have the freedom to shape your website exactly how you envision it. And no coding is required, just be creative. And if you're worried about your website looking different on mobile devices, fear not, Squarespace makes sure that it looks polished and professional on every platform, desktops, tablets, and smartphones alike. So from bloggers to restaurateurs to shop owners, your success story could be next, guys. So thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Go to Squarespace Squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash alexace and add code alexace at checkout to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. But this next one, I do have an idea and that's Paxton Price, which was introduced in chapter four, season four. Usually you'll see it in the shop and it has 7,000 poop emojis. Now you might be thinking, Alex, this skin looks kind of normal. It's pretty bland. And the reason this one has a lot of hate is because compared to its concept art. Now you guys know me and I love me concept art and all the drama that comes with it, especially with like Aphrodite and her concept art and how that was changed. It's not a huge change when you compare them. But this one, Paxton, this is his concept art. And it is a drastic change to what we get to see in the game today. His concept art is incredibly cool. And unfortunately, his in-game skin, not so much. I'm not really sure how they butchered this one so badly, but you can see a lot of the community were quite upset. And honestly, I feel like the artist, the one who made the concept art, would probably be pretty upset about it as well. Some of them are a little bit more obvious, like Queen Summer, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4. This skin is just kind of ugly. I don't really know why they made this. I understand that it was part of the Rick and Morty season at the time, but this is just kind of an ugly skin, and there are way more cooler and more iconic characters and designs, even for Summer, that they could have added in instead of this one. So I don't really know why they added this in, and it's probably why it's one of the most hated skins in the game. And then you have this skin, which kind of makes a little bit more sense. 
part of the El Chapulín set, uh, released in Chapter 2, Season 8. All of these random skins, the Jonesy variant, you know, all the other, you know, variants. Yeah, this one didn't get a lot of love, and I get why, because if you're not Hispanic, you guys will not have a single clue as to who this character is. So, it's a very strange character, and I can kind of get why a lot of people were confused about it and how it got added into Fortnite, but if you're Hispanic, especially if you're Mexican, you probably, you know, you think it's a cute skin. And I, I personally, I think it's a cute skin. I'm half Hispanic, so I think it's okay, but it gets hate because I think a lot of people just think it's weird. Surprisingly though, this next skin though has already made it into the top 25 most hated skins, and that is the Lady Gaga set. With 34,000 poop emojis, it is a lot of poop emojis. You know, that's a lot of bad ratings. I'm not entirely sure why this skin gets a bad rap. I think it maybe people don't like her music. Maybe it's the fact that it's behind a battle pass. Maybe it's the fact that Fortnite Festival is just kind of there. I don't know. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this one. I don't really have any reason as to why this one gets a bad rap. Maybe it's because it's kind of expensive. I, I, like I said, I don't really know. Personally, I didn't buy this skin. I don't really like it i guess so but i i don't know if i'd give it as far as thirty-four thousand poop poop emojis you know i don't know this next one though i would give a poop emoji and that is fly trap this is one of the first legendary skins they introduced into the game and they're still peddling it to us to this day as i'm filming this april 4th it's in the shop right now and it is a whopping 2,000 V bucks for the one of the most ugly skins in the game. The funniest thing too is when this skin released, it actually had no back bling, no pickaxe, nothing. It was just a skin, and it was still 2,000 V bucks. So yeah, I don't know why Fortnite still intends to put this in the item shop. They should probably just put it in the vault forever, because my God, it's terrible now these next skins get a bad rap and i'm not really sure why maybe it's just because a lot of people are sick of them and that is like the football skins the american football and actually just soccer skins i think these get a bad rap just because they're always in the item shop and they're not very cool they're not very interesting and unless you're an american football fan it's like why is this in my item shop so this one gets a bad rap because a lot of the player base probably don't care about american football and soccer and basketball you know all the sports skins Next up, we have this one, Krampus, which kind of is in the same vein as Flytrap. A very early skin, Season 7, Chapter 1, has 3,500 poop emojis, and it is very expensive, 2,000 V-Bucks. And yeah, it, I don't know, the skin is just kind of ugly. It's just one of those, it falls in the kind of ugly like skin, you know, like who's actually going to wear this, especially if it's not Christmas, like, you know, like who's actually going to wear this? So I feel like that's probably why it doesn't get as much love as uh, some of the other skins we are used to. And this next skin is a generic skin, you know, it doesn't get a lot of love. Also three and a half thousand poop emojis. It's just a basic skin. What's that? Oh, it's, it's not? Oh, my bad. Sorry. This is a Shang-Chi Marvel outfit that, yes, I, I'm, I'm not joking. Came in in chapter two. It is a Marvel skin and it is pretty bad. This one is probably the worst Marvel skin in the game because it's just so boring and bland, especially for Shang-Chi, which is an awesome Marvel hero. They just, they just kind of didn't really put a lot of effort into this skin and I'm not really sure why. So that is probably why a lot of the community think this skin is straight doo-doo. This next skin is in second place for the top hated skin, and that is Sterling. 15,000 bad ratings released in season eight. It's quite an early skin as well. And I'm not really sure why this one gets a lot of hate. It's just kind of bland, I guess. I, I, I yeah, I don't really know. This is one where I have to ask you guys, why does it get so much hate? Because I have no idea. Idea, but it is in second place in terms of the worst hated skins and at number one for the most hated skin in terms of this rating is the derby dominator i know it goes back to the nfl skin but this one specifically for some reason just you know twenty two thousand poop emojis if you go to worst skins as you can see it is here with 5% rating. It is very, very bad. You can see I didn't go in like a top 10 order because a lot of the skins, if you scroll down the top worst ones, they're all just kind of bland. They're all just sort of boring, not very exciting. It is the most cookie cutter skin design. And I think that's why 
they're just pretty not good there are some icon skins in here like naomi osaka same with like becky lynch here you know i'm a, I'm a wrestling fan i think this skin is just kind of bland and i think that's the reason why a lot of these are just in the top worst skins is just because they're a bit bland if you go to best first you can see there are so many iconic skins here like red knights a black widow midas peely renegade raider you have cerberus here somehow ghoul trooper spider-man raven team leader omega you have hope focus solid snake michelangelo the reaper You've got Jules, Comet, Surf Witch, Mary Marauder, shout out Laser Beam. But yeah, most of these skins in the top spot are just fantastic looking skins. I just wanted to go over the most hated skins in the game. I thought it was kind of interesting and I was wondering why they had so much hate. And of course, I would love to hear what you guys think. What are some of the worst skins in the game that you think deserve to be in the top spot? But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. If you want me to do a deep dive on the best skins in the game and why they're there, let me know in the comments. And of course, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.